Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today um, I, I am out on something really really nice to be honest. This is the Speed Twin 1200 and um, I've got my um, a, a Tiger 660 um, Sport in for a, a 600 mile service and the guy said to me why don't I try this bike out for uh, for a quick little ride. So I've got this bike on, on loan while they're servicing my bike at the 600 mile service and um, I just want to bring you guys along and uh, just give you my thoughts. But firstly, I just want to quickly run through the, um, the specs of the bike so we can just get it out of the way. You can again get this on the website. Triumph's website is like really good. You can get all the details there. It's nice and clear. So go and check it out if, if, uh, if I do miss anything here. But it's a 1200cc. Um, it's got 98.6 uh, brake horsepower. That's uh, anything for you. Um, 112 newton meters of torque. Um, a nice 14.5 litre tank, six speed, uh, really nice brakes, um, 120 70 front tyre, 160 60 rear tyre, 17 inch tyres, uh, 17 inch rims, um, front suspension, 43 mil upside down Marzocchi uh, 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 shocks, and then uh, yeah, uh, Brembo brakes, Nissa brakes in the rear and so forth but uh, that's all the boring stuff really we want to we want to oodle some of the stuff we've got a bit of sunshine out i just want to show you this burnt uh, orange paint job absolutely beautiful it's a it's a matte finish that's what it's all about really the numbers is cool but hey man i like the look of the bike so let's have a look around the bike okay now that we've got all the stats out of the way and really guys check out the website it is super detailed if you want any further details i'm just going to go through the bike from the from the front as i usually do mazaki now you can see I've got metzler uh race tech rr on the front and nice large disc brakes brembo on the front and uh i like this uh this is from bulldog triumph so if you guys are in the working area check them out really really good service guys it's got really good attention to detail as well look at that little uh, triumph logo there in the front just to give you a look of the bike this is how it would look like if you at a cafe sitting sipping a coffee and looking at the bike and when the sun peeks out like it's going to do now you'll see that uh, that burnt orange just really pops it's the radiator nice skinny one nice twin exhaust pipes that's connected there on the inside you can see there but look at this um, orange tank you can really you can hear it i don't know if you can hear it but it's this it's like a mat so if you take this thing and you maybe wrap it with uh, like like a 3m wrap it's really this flake or the, or the shiny flake bit in it will just pop absolutely awesome really really awesome Yeah, nice Bonneville logo, 1200cc, speed twin, really nice finish. The bike feels really comfortable. Um, it's a little bit uh, bendy, bendy knees um, because the pedals is quite high compared to what I'm used to now, the 8 or the 900 GT Pro and the, also the speed uh, or the, um, my, my Tiger. 660 nice shocks coil over nice brushed exhaust i like this brush as well really really nice but look at the rear look at that bam really nice tire Bulldog Triumph, check them out. This is from this side. Nice passenger pegs, standard, and a nice flat, flat, flat seat. So the passenger is a really, really nice squishy pad. But the thing is, as well, I saw on the accessory cat catalog, and this is again one of those things that you can go and check out. The um, accessory catalog is 
massive so you can really get anything you like and then you look you can move to the to the front here nice buy-in mirrors it's got the modes as well the riding modes information and then you get the beautiful speed and rev counter it's just a really nice view it's really nice and down so it's not in your face this side you've got the normal start stop this is one of the things that it, I can sort of do this somewhere else imagine how nice it would clean up this whole front end if there was nothing like this nice brake lever no, two-handed operation this bike is fairly brand new well, that's from that side okay okay guys you've seen around the bike now so uh, let's hop on it and go for a ride I'm gonna let you hear the sound of this thing when I do fire it up um, so let's do that now okay guys let's uh, let's get onto this uh, triumph speed twin 1200 cc and let's go for a quick little ride so i'm going to quickly sh uh, let you guys hear how it sounds like normal power on boom hope you can see it's all fine clutch in listen to that listen to that sound It is thunder. It is really, really thunder. So as you guys can see, there is the rear view mirrors. Everyone uh, and his dog reviews the rear view mirror. But these ones are so far very fine and uh, nice and clear on the back. So uh, no rattle so far. I just had a quick little ride on it. So that's pretty straightforward. And again, I'm just going to take it slow. So just to let you know, there's a small little nub in here at the bottom that takes out the kickstand. That can be a little bit annoying for, for anyone because it's quite tiny. Um, it's a nice forward leaning position. Again, very comfortable. The handlebars looks wide, but it feels very, uh, very uh, narrow. Um, but yeah, it is comfortable. Um, it's a slight lean forward. There's not a push into the tank for me. I am five foot eleven and a seventy-five kilogram rider. But uh, but yeah, super simple, nice clear dash. Um, this is this is again, you know, it's like the nine hundred scrambler scrambler I took out. Really nice and lumpy, smooth power delivery with these two pipes that sounds like uh, Zeus and the thunderbolts and lightning. Absolutely beautiful, you know. Um, your normal indicators on this side, your mode, so you can select rain, sport, uh, road. I'm stuck on road at the moment. Um, there's some extra information that you can do miles per gallon. You can see the time and so forth. Pedometer, this thing has got 320 miles on. Is that? Yeah. Um, they, they, they rate about 40, uh, 45 to uh, 50 miles per gallon. Not, not yeah 320 miles on the clock horn brights and so forth and your flashes right on the front the uh, brights and this is uh, the running light as far as I understand but listen to that oh so kickstand in let's go let me just quickly check if I've got everything I don't want to forget anything yeah I hope you guys can see the seat is nice and flat my legs are way more bent than uh, my 660 Tiger the Tiger is more a adventure style bike where this is more a uh, really a street street cruiser I'm here um, Getting the bike from uh, Bulldog Triumph in working, Wokingham. But listen to that. Woo! 
this is again going to be a bike that has got really nice power but it's also got uh, this manageable power you sit very upright and uh, uh, you know um, being being uh, used to having a screen where you can hide behind um, on the on the 660 this being uh, full face in the wind you uh, you really do notice it and listen I'm not comparing it uh, to uh, to a bike with a with a screen I'm it's just something I picked up it's the instant thing it's, it's uh, something that I'm just giving you guys some feedback on Brakes is nice and solid. But it feels absolutely brilliant. See, as I was saying, it, it feels uh, the handlebars is nice and narrow. I uh, wonder if this one will work work well for me uh, filtering through the traffic <laughs> uh, how I do like changing bikes um, what I would like to is um, what I would have liked is the um, gear indicator or shift indicator I wish that was a little bit larger somewhere uh, this is like super tiny here in the left hand top corner I would have liked something a little bit bigger there I do use that quite a lot something you get used to that uh, that you then miss but yeah the gear shifts the gear shifts is like really smooth I always think about can I take this bike can I take this bike on a uh, on a uh, on a tour and I would say yes I would put a little small little screen on the front here just to uh, uh, give me a little bit more wind protection but man uh, this is so comfortable um, the seat is nice and flat I do like that okay, I've, I've only been on it for 15 minutes so this is initial impressions um, as I said, my back is slightly, uh, um, well, I'm slightly leaning forward onto the handlebars, but there's no pressure. I can, I can really just uh, sit up straight and uh, balance. So that, that means that I'm not leaning on the handlebars. I'm sort of just, it's just a little bit of a forward position. Uh, the gear changing is nice and smooth. It's really quick. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's less travel than my 660 um, and, uh, and the 99 GT Pro that I had. It feels pretty much the same as the, as the street, uh, street Triple I had. But yeah, the mirrors is nice and clear. Large, clear, no vibrations. So uh, as I said, uh, there's quite a bend in your knees. So your toes is, is, is pointing down uh, quite at an angle for anyone that's interested but I would I would say uh, this bike will be uh, very comfortable to uh, ride around on to be honest it's also uh, the weight is nice and low down giving it a uh, giving it a nice uh, feel of, of uh, less weight for the size of engine but listen, listen, just listen to that, um, uh, the exhaust, it's like Rambo firing the whole time. <laughs> that is smooth acceleration. Now, as I was saying uh, on the previous videos, my uh, 
my uh, 660 Tiger is the really nice uh, fine tune on the on the accelerator because the because the engine is so is so smooth where the where the where the twins and the singles and stuff they they you need to be a little bit more uh, fine fine on the or or learn how to use the accelerator so you get a smoother ride because it's the bigger engine it just uh, handles differently so the um whoop. So the, the um, what do you call it? The indicators is just uh, at a different angle to my 660. And this is what I was saying that uh, if you get used to a specific bike, you get used to a specific bike, and uh, and you learn how this things work. So I've been on the bike now for about 10 minutes max, and I'm already used to where the indicators are, the horn indicators, and then the flasher on the front. I hope I'm on the right, right road here. Shifting down is nice and smooth as well. And uh, there's the nice and 50. You can really make and really grab a nice handful and it really uh, accelerates super nice. Sitting up at 50. This is what I was saying, like that gear indicator is like super tiny there on the, on the left hand corner. I would have liked to be able to uh, select the mode or the info that it can be uh, large. Just tip one and two. That's it, miles per gallon. Nothing else. Arborfield, where do I need to go to? Let's go down here. Oh, is this where I am now? See, now I'm in fourth. Uh, if I'm in fourth in my 660, because the engine is uh, is lighter and is more free, free spinny, it sort of spins up much easier. So, being in a higher gear in a big old twin, you need to drop a gear down to get a smoother. Woo! To get a smooth uh, acceleration. Now it's raining, so I hope you guys can still see. I'm going to try and get around this roundabout here in the front and uh, get it out of the rain. They did say it's going to be uh, rain and showers and some sun. But yeah, the, the clocks is nice and clear. Really enjoy that. But uh, what the guy said to me, this is the same engine as on the bobber and uh, makes it a very nice, very nice uh, smooth engine. This guy's a Triumph, do make nice bikes. I think this bike comes in at uh, this particular model, I think you get a, you, well you do get a colors of black with burnt orange and then a red, a red one. But you can again go and check it out on the website, or what you can do is go and visit uh, visit the guys at Bulldog Triumph and uh, go and check it out in real life. Because uh, on the website it usually looks in one color, but as soon as you uh, see it in uh, in the flesh, then it's uh, it does look really really beautiful. I was hoping for a little bit less traffic this morning. Doors are doing bike reviews or bike feedback reviews in the UK. Rain, bad weather, and so on. We've got nice road tires, and uh, you know, as much as I like an adventure style bike, this is uh, this is something really special. Sometimes when you have an, a loud exhaust, it sort of becomes annoying after a while. The faster you go on this, it sort of smoothens out the sound and uh, it, it uh, really, really uh, sounds lovely. And you can really roll on the power in a uh, fifth there. And it just uh, pulls 
beautifully forward very very nice the shift down is also really cool very second now a little bit of a uh, big old downshift let's go around this roundabout here nice and lean push a bit out really nice absolutely lovely battery smooth I like the clocks as well, really nice and uh, 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 retro but as I, uh, as I uh, commented on some of my old BMW videos as well when you've got a small little LCD screen um, I would rather like to have a, a larger screen underneath the dials where I can see the um, like feel and, uh, and uh, gear changes this is something that I'm used to other people would be fine, fine, fine with that. Um, I actually uh, like to have uh, the gear indicator. That's quite cool for, for me. But yeah, really nice. You know, there's almost no pressure on my hands. You know, if I sit, if I feel now, I'm doing 50 miles an hour. Um, it's just really nice and uh, comfortable. feedback about the, uh, the brakes. The rear brake is really uh, nice, works very well and uh, the front brake has got very little trouble. Maybe it's, uh, it still just needs to be bed in but it's sort of really powerful, sure. I really press in very little and um, you can uh, fall over the bike. <laughs> but listen to that sound. <laughs> clutch is also really nice it really feels so nice <laughs> yeah and there you can see you get some stairs okay guys um, that's it my ride is done had great fun on this uh, in the speed twin and uh, if you guys have got any questions about the bike, please drop in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, please subscribe. That would be much appreciated. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You know, it's, it, it just helps. It. And also, if you've got a, if you're looking at the bike or you're looking or you, or, or you're going to ride a Triumph or, or you ride any bike for that matter, please say hi in the comments below. It really sort of helps other people see the channel and see the comments and help other people out. Just uh, sharing the information. I'm just as it is. It is. It is. It is. There's. There's nothing. It's just my feedback about the bike. And uh, so far, you know, just riding it now for about 45 minutes. It's such a nice and comfortable bike. Yes, if you're going to be doing long distance touring, it's probably not the best bike um, because you need some wind protection. Because, well, I need wind protection just for uh, just for uh, keeping that that wind off your face. But if you're going to be cruising around doing day trips and Saturday and Sunday rides and use it to go to work and back if the weather's a little bit nicer absolutely beautiful this the engine is so so smooth and so easy to ride again you know I can flat foot on both sides it is being 5 foot 11 it helps a lot a lot of guys uh, struggle with uh, bikes being too high so uh, but yeah guys if there's any questions about the bike drop in the comments below Check out Triumph's website and go and visit the guys at Bulldog Triumph. They, the service has always been great um, and uh, always good knowledge in our so whatever. The guys have been into bikes for, for a long time. They also ride bikes. So uh, check them out. I'll link the, uh, the dealership down below. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.